Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. As you guys can see here, this is going to be a pick a card reading. Now we're going to be using three different decks. We're going to be using the Angels Tarot. We're going to be using the Love Oracle deck as well as the uh which one's this one this is the ch -ch -ch -ch, i forget the name of it but it's an oracle um another d oracle deck that we're going to be using here and this reading is going to be if you're wanting to know what they feel about you this is definitely uh something for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone or are interested in someone we're going to be looking into how they feel or how they see you uh, in this connection so obviously you guys can see here we have deck number one deck number two deck number three deck number one is the star deck number two is the heart and deck number three is going to be the circle so if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide look at the description link below you'll be able to find all our websites on there like i've been telling you guys we have partnered up with amazon so any of the spell work that you see on my channel you're going to be able to uh definitely go on to those links and to find all of the herbs all of the ingredients that we use on there so it's going to be much more easier for you guys to find all right, so let's get into the needy greedy. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can tune in, see which one is being more pulled towards you, and we're going to get into the reading. So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. All right, my lovelies, we're going to get into the needy greedy. We're going to start off here with deck number one. So I'm going to pull back the deck number two and number three. And let's begin here with the deck number one, stack number one or pile number one with the star. So we are going to get into the tarot cards first and see what we got going on here. All right, for those of you guys that chose uh, set number one, we have the three of cups, the five of swords, and the nine of wands. This is representing the energy of your person of interest. Now moving on with your energy. We have the two of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and the king of cups all right okay my lovely so from what i can see i feel like um you may feel those of you guys that chose set number one you may feel like uh the person of your interest is not that open or perhaps they are not really they're very guarded off the bat that's what i'm sensing they are extremely guarded they are definitely playing the field but this has a lot to do with past relationships that they've been in or that they've dealt with i feel like in the past they could have dealt with very toxicity type of energy partners that perhaps took them a bit for granted or perhaps um double dealed with them meaning they weren't completely loyal to uh to this specific person uh the person that you're dealing with so i feel like they are definitely they've been through it they have suffered so they are extremely guarded and very much in the defensive because they don't trust very easily, you guys. And it's almost giving me the energy of kind of when a person knows or senses that you're good to them or that you are worth it. But the fear of what if I bring my walls down and then I end up getting hurt or I end up being taken for granted like they have in the past it's a fear of them it's a fear that is they're still very att attached to this energy so it's almost as if 
they want to give in, but they're too scared or they obviously haven't healed from past experiences where they feel like they'd rather be the one to have the upper hand or they'd rather be the one to let you close but not close enough to hurt them. And I feel like you guys on your side, this is, for some of you guys, you could have potentially been dealing with this situation for a while. Maybe for some of you guys, you've been dealing with them, you know, maybe even being with them um, in a relationship, but it almost feels like there is no stability or like sometimes it, it becomes very difficult to know where you stand with them what is it that they want what is it that they they're looking for are they wanting me in the future with them that, that that's kind of what i see your energy kind of swinging back and forth it's almost like sometimes it's good but sometimes it feels like you don't know where you're at and at this point for some of you guys it's almost a feeling like i've either invested too much time too much energy or i've given too much of myself to this person and i i still don't know where i'm at with them so it's almost like you're hesitant to walk away for some of you guys again you have two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles it's been a long journey for you guys with the king of cups representing how you're feeling this is like you know that this is the person that you want or you know that this is the person that you would want to be in a relationship or in, in a serious committed relationships with but it's almost as if like i said they they have you questioning or wondering and within that faltering of feeling when things are good they're good but when they're bad they're bad it's almost like it's really hard for you to walk away from this situation or from this connection because you don't you want you don't want to feel like you're left like once you walk away or once you pull back that they are all of a sudden going to change and want to commit 100% or want to make it known that they want to be with you and that they want to put effort in this connection. So it's almost like I see you guys dealing, right? Dealing, ultimately what you're doing is you're dealing with the insecurities and the hurt and the pain that this other person has dealt with and you're trying to love them regardless of how hard they can be sometimes to love. But ultimately, what you need to understand is that when a person is not ready, it doesn't matter how much you love them. It doesn't matter how much above and beyond you go for them. If they themselves within themselves don't feel like they are worthy of your love or like they deserve your type of love, they will do everything that they possibly can on a subconscious level to push you away. To make you realize what they see in themselves is that they're not worthy or that they de don't de they don't deserve your love. So I do see it a struggle and I, I do see it difficult for you because again, Knight of Pentacles, it's going to be a very long journey for you. It's been for some of you guys already. Um, and I know that the feeling is there. However, I do feel like it. you would have to sacrifice ultimately more of yourself because you will get to a point that's if you don't already feel even if you're in a relationship with them right now sometimes it feels like you're alone in this relationship because you don't have that emotional support that you provide for them you they don't you know you don't receive that so again i feel like in regards to how they feel about you or how they view the situation i feel like they know because that's immediately what i felt they are aware of what you deserve but i feel like within themselves because of the unhealed experiences that they've gone through they haven't really fully given themselves the time to heal from that so they're carrying their baggage or their drama or everything that they've been through or what's been done to them into this connection. So that's the reason why it's affecting. And I feel like I said, ultimately, I feel like if you stick around, you're ultimately going to be the one to sacrifice the most. Whether it's because you feel like you have to change to mold yourself into what you think they want when they themselves don't even know what they want because they don't feel worthy of anything less than what they've experienced in the past now the oracle card here that we have is maybe and like i said the, the, when we speak about you know 
is there a potential in this connection? When we get the maybe card, it, it does signify that there is potential, right? But ultimately, from what I'm seeing in these cards, ultimately, it'll come at the cost of you losing more than them. And I feel like for some of you guys that chose set number one, you already feel this way. Um, like you're the one that's invested too much or you've sacrificed too much. And maybe some of you guys are still holding on to this connection because you feel like you want to feel vindicated. You want to feel like it was worth it in the end. But I feel like the more you hold on to this connection, the more you're going to feel like it was... It came at, at an expense, and I feel like the expense is not worth it in the end mm -hmm. because I don't see them putting the effort or wanting to even heal or change that aspect about themselves or how they feel in regards to what they need to heal. It's like not wanting to take self-responsibility to know, you know what, I'm pushing this person away because of my fears, because of this or because of that. I don't see them going down the path of wanting to heal. I feel like they run more off of ego. And that could be the reason why it, it'll, like I said, come at the expense of your sacrifice. Now, when we talk about the second Oracle deck that we have here or Oracle cards that we have, we have number five, which is a representation of the tree. But fives obviously are a representation of a struggle. And in order to be able to you know, maintain a long-term committed relationship, um, something that is going to give you longevity, there is, there has to be more certainty than just a maybe. So I see them almost like half in, half out type of thing. I don't see them fully wanting to commit or wanting to just throw themselves, you know, and say, you know what, screw it. Let's give it a try and let's, let's go. I feel like they're halfway in, halfway out. And it almost feels like they continuously do this in this connection or in this relationship. So I feel that this gave you some type of clarity. And um, yeah, I don't I don't feel like in the end. And that's the thing, you guys, when we sacrifice and put up with so many things in connections or relationships, a lot of the times, yes, of course, there is maybe some type of love, but ultimately sometimes we do it because of pride. We do it because I want to feel like it was worth it in the end. Um, and the more you hold on to that, to that feeling of wanting to feel like it was worth it in the end, like it, it, all your hard work and everything you went through had a purpose. Sometimes the purpose in the process is learning that you deserve more than that, that you deserve more to people or that you deserve more than to receive people that half-assed love you. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, my lovelies, now we're going on to set number two with the heart. Let's see what the tarot has to say. We have the six of swords, the ace of cups, the strength card, and your cards is the lover's card, the king of pentacles, and the star card. Wow, this is beautiful energy. Um. I feel like there's newness to this connection for some of you guys that chose set number two. Maybe you're just um, connecting or recently started seeing someone or recently started dating someone. This is a beginning of something that uh, has the potential for something long term and stable. There is definitely a lot of intensity and a lot of passion in this connection. I do want to mention I do see Earth energy very strongly and Leo energy. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Leo for others of you, you could be an earth sign or dealing with an earth sign or vice versa. I also do see Aquarius and Gemini energy here. I feel like they are in at a place where they're ready. They're ready for a relationship or they're ready to be emotionally available. I see that there's been a very long journey for them to get to where they're at right now. So they are definitely embracing this new connection or will be embracing this new connection. Um... The intensity and the passion is definitely there. So for those of you guys that chose set number two, if you don't have a particular person, just know um, that very, <laughs> very highly in the month of July or August, there's definitely going to be a connection that comes through for you. Because I feel like at this point, both of you guys are almost 
in the same frequency and they're in the same vibration. For some of you guys, you're trying to manifest love. You're trying to manifest the partner that you feel at this point in your life would really enhance your life. Um, and if you are definitely trying or working on manifestations, I definitely do see that. And again, I feel like it's been a long journey for you and for them as well. Now, if you've been in, a, in this connection for a while, I feel like they're ready to fully embrace uh, the vulnerability aspect of making themselves emotionally available to you. For some of you guys, this could have been something that started off casual. Um, with the strength card and the lovers, it does indicate to me a lot of intensity when we talk about passion. Anything that has to do with the animalistic side of the human um, nature. So it could have been something that started off as something physical. Um, perhaps you guys didn't really give each other the time or like the really wanting to get to know each other. But I feel like at this point, there is something that's shifting. There's something that's changing in them where they are realizing or coming to the understanding that they do have deeper feelings for you or that you guys have more things in common than you actually gave credit for. Um, so I definitely do see that there is a progression that's happening here. Now with the lovers and the king of pentacles, yes, intensity and passion is there, but the king of pentacles makes it very grounding energy. So with the star, it's like, realizing that the stars are aligning or realizing that you guys came into each other's life right when it was a very pivotal moment. For some of you guys with the Six of Swords, you could have uh, came out of a relationship and then gave yourself some time and then boom, they just show up or vice versa. It could have been that they, that you met them when they were coming out of something difficult. So it could have been like a uh, committed relationship that they came out of, that it was a very long uh, relationship or... Um, like I said, it's, it's there's something pivotal in this connection in regards to how you guys meet or how you guys met. Um, it, for some of you guys, you could have been traveling when you met this person. But I definitely do see the progress um, moving more towards stability here with the King of Pentacles and the Star. It's realizing this is my person or this is the person that I would love to have something serious with or to, you know, hold hands and jump into the pool of... <laughs> Uh, a destiny basically so I definitely do see that there is an alignment here that's happening again if you guys chose this set and you're not particularly dealing with anyone I feel like right now uh, with um, with Pluto that went back that went back into Capricorn um, and it's in retrograde there are some type of revisiting of situations that may come up in regards to the past, in regards to things that we kind of were dealing with probably um, last year. Um, but moving forward, it, it's almost like you're being able to see clearly to be able to continue on the path towards a more stable, more structured type of outcome. So I definitely do see that. Again, if you guys did start or if you do meet someone and it starts as something casual, but then gradually you guys start getting to know each other. Just know that it has the potential for something long term. Um, the moment you guys are willing to give each other the shot of actually getting to know each other, you're going to realize that you guys do have a lot of things in common. The king of pentacles looking towards the star. It's like finally finding with the lovers, finally finding the person um, that I didn't even know I wanted or that I needed. It just makes sense type of energy. So beautiful, beautiful energy here. Now, the oracle here, we have number 20. And this is talking to me about, there is something that, again, number 20 usually represents public or publicity, like externalities, um, institutions, authority, or some type of social life that is connected to either fame or like making things public. So again, I feel like for a lot of you guys with the strength card and the lovers, you could have met under very like important, like a very important cycle in your life where you were kind of releasing or walking away from something to embrace a new beginning. And then that's when you met or that's how you meet. Um, but it does speak to me about like gradually getting to that place. So I feel like for some of you guys, you may keep this hush hush or you may have kept this hush hush for a while and now you're kind of 
you know, getting into the energy of like fully embracing and not caring what people have to say anymore. For some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a younger person or a person that you're uh, not necessarily attracted to, um, not not attracted to, but not necessarily like you don't gradually, sorry, not gradually, you don't necessarily like really go after this type. There is something that is, and I feel like it has more to do on the physical level. So I'm very, for some of you guys, it could be that they're way younger than you or that they are older than what you're used to. Um, vice versa, it could be one or the other. But I do feel like there is almost like some type of shyness, like I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't want them to judge me. I don't want them to type of vibe. Um, but I do feel like it'll get to the point where it becomes pretty solid. And at that point, you're like, fuck it. I'm willing to embrace it let's you know let's get it let's get it going now the other card that we have here is gate closed and this indicates to me that it's not the right time but again with the 20 with this card this is about publicity this is about something in the public eye so i feel like initially this connection or this you know relationship that you had there was there's something that's like taboo about it or that it could be like a big no-no for you or maybe your maybe they're a different religion maybe there's something that initially you felt like it cannot be public or we cannot take this seriously maybe it's just let's just keep it in the casual area um but progressively it does become solid where you get to the point of not caring and throwing the care to the wind and being like fuck it you only live once and you make me happy and this is worth it and you go for it. And honestly, with the cards you got, you should definitely go for it. Um, but I do feel that with the gate closed and 20, I feel like these two together, there is something about this connection that you may feel initially like there's restrictions about it. Um, uh, let's keep it on the low. Let's not, you know make it public let's not let it be known let's not like you are very very or you will be very very cautious how people hear about like not people hearing about it basically you're gonna be i feel like it's more for some of you guys it could be potentially something that has to do with taboo something that um maybe in your culture you it's a big no-no um for others of you maybe it's just you know it could be as simplistic as age difference but I know that for some people that could be that that's really important. Like um, appearances is, is very important. And I feel like you'll get to the point of understanding how deep this connection is where you're like, screw it. It's my happiness and I'm betting on it. And I definitely hope you do. All right, my lovelies. Now, moving on, finally, to set number three. If you guys enjoyed these readings, definitely like, share, comment, let me know so that I can continue doing these videos for you. Now we're going to set number three with the circle here. Let's see what the tarot cards has to say. First card here is the four of swords, the world card, and the six of wands. Your cards is the tower, the three of pentacles, and the four of cups. Okay, so with the four of swords and the world card it does indicate that they are at a different stage in their life right now now if you were dealing with this person for a while and it almost feels like they kind of disconnected or like they switched up or changed very radically um i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they weren't necessarily wanting something serious from this connection i'm going to be honest because with the four of swords and the world card and then following the six of wands i feel like this the person that you're dealing with could are is potentially used to getting what they want and they don't necessarily have to work hard to get it so it could be that this person that you were dealing with could be very attractive or it's a person that you know appearances wise seems like they have it all together but they really don't. Um, it's giving me very much like ego, uh, narcissist type of energy, the type of energy that loves to conquer. Um, the basically the the you know the fuck boy or fuck girl type of energy. And I feel like as quickly as they disconnect or as quickly as they pull away from you is as quickly as they move on to the next 
it's almost like dating to them is a game. It's a game and it's a challenge, the cat and mouse type of thing. Once they conquer or once they get what they want, they quickly move on. So I'm going to be honest with those of you guys that chose set number three. If you're dealing with lack of communication or they've been pulling away or they ghost you and then all of a sudden they come back two, three months later to try to contact you. Too. It's a game to them. And at this point, you need to see that as well. You need to see that the, the, the only reason why anyone can ever come back to your life is because you allow that to happen. A lot of the times I get clients tell me, I don't understand. They must love me because if they don't love me, why do they keep coming back? You don't have to love someone to go back to them because the only thing that would make sense is if they love you and they come back to you, have they changed their behavior? And if their behavior isn't changed, then that's not love. That's comfortability. And for some, it's a game. It's to see if you're willing to take them back. It's like, how many times can I stomp on his or her heart until they get it? And they won't stop until you put your foot down. So that's the type of energy that I'm sensing for those of you guys that chose this set. Because their cards is symbolized by the Four of Swords. They are not at all emotionally available. It's like they're extremely guarded, but they're guarded with the focus. They know what they want. The world card, I have my eye on the price. And the moment they disconnect, four of swords, I'm on to the next cycle. The world card, I've completed, I'm done, I've achieved. I got what I knew I wanted, six of wands. It's a prideful card. But also, I'll come back whenever I want because you allow that. Do you see what I'm saying? So... If you're dealing with the situation, honestly, at this point, you have the tower card. The, car the tower card is a major wake up call. It's the universe telling you, hey, pay attention. Three of pentacles, you're putting in the work. Are they putting in the work? Are they putting effort, putting an in effort? If they're not, don't sit there and question, well, I wonder if they love me. There's no wondering. All you have to do is look at their actions. How are they? acting or reacting to certain things if you stop texting them for a day do they text you throughout the day to see how you're doing to see if you're okay do they miss you if they're not making any contact until you reach out a week two weeks later then see that as a sign that obviously they have no concern about what's going on in your life the tower card is a major upheaval it's a major shakeup to realize and understand three of pentacles that you cannot build something right just with your hard work when we're talking about relationships it goes both ways you cannot just like i tell clients you cannot carry a relationship by yourself if they're not willing to put in the work it's gonna it's gonna crumble at some point um and with the four of cups don't sit there and wait for them just because you feel like you're not going to do better. You won't know that until you actually put yourself out there. Until you actually give yourself the opportunity to be happy. You don't have to settle. And I feel like for a lot of you guys that chose this set, oftentimes you take them back because some people say, you know, I at least I know the devil I'm dealing with. Um but is it really worth it? Because they keep doing the same thing over and over. When, yes, you can start off and some people say, well, starting off, you know, getting to know someone, then getting to know stage and it's just, it's just too much and I'd rather not. But what if something does go good in this new connection that you embrace? Whereas in this situation, you've probably been dealing with them for a couple of years now and nothing has came from it. It's not going to change. So the one that needs to change is you and how you view love, how you view relationships. So what they're, you know, what they're showing you here with the tower card is that how you construct a relationship, how you build a relationship starts from the very beginning to, to be able to build it on a solid foundation. You cannot overlook the fact that they don't put effort. You cannot overlook that every time you go out, you're the one that pays for things. You cannot overlook none of that. Because if you overlook it, they are showing you who they are from the very beginning, from out the gate. 
you're the one that teaches people how you want to be treated by your expectations. I always tell, you know, uh, my clients and the people that I deal with, when it comes to relationships, know the difference between um, expectations and, you know, demands. It's two different things. If you have expectations, you're relying on someone else to do what you hope they will be or they will treat you or whatever. Those are expectations and usually they let you down. When you have demands, and it's not demands so much on them, it's demands on yourself. If, you know, the person I'm dealing with is not consistent, that's it. I don't give them any more opportunities. If the person that I'm dealing with is not putting in effort, I'm not dealing with that. Like those are demands that they may be aware of or that you can even express them openly to them. Like, I have demands. I don't have expectations. This is how I expect to be treated. And if they lack in any of those, then you walk away. But having demands is very different than having expectations. And having demands means that you value yourself and you know your worth and you're not going to settle for anything less than that. And whoever walks away Show them the door. Do not hold them back. Let them walk out that door, but make sure not to allow them to maintain blocking that door because that's how they will block your blessings. It's like if you're going to let them go, let them go gracefully, but also remind them, hey, you need to get the fuck out the way so that good things can come my way. Like don't don't keep allowing them to come to keep coming back into your life. Now, the next oracle card that we have here is number six, and this is talking about fears. This is all to do with, again, I feel like for a lot of you guys that chose this set, you probably keep dealing with them because you feel like you can't do better or you feel like you don't want to deal with anyone else or you're comfortable or whatever the situation is. But what really is holding you back is the fear. And it's the fear of feeling um like you rather deal with what you're already used to than to deal with someone new. But what you're doing is you're, settle, you're settling and you're accepting someone's lower vibration. You cannot expect uh, to feel complete or to feel completely happy or completely loved if you don't know how to do that for yourself first. Because once you do, you're not going to allow people to half-ass you. You're not going to allow people to you know, give you like breadcrumb you. Um, six is all to do with fear, with with uncertainty or, or being scared of uncertainty. And you'd rather look away than to deal with what's really happening because it's easier for you. Now, the oracle card that we have here is passion. So for some of you guys, it could be that this person you're dealing with um, perhaps is very intense uh, very intense and very passionate, even in the way uh, with, when it comes to arguments. I'm not sure if you guys have ever, obviously for those of you guys that chose this set, you probably dealt with that, where uh, a lot of the times the overly charged relationships, right, the ones that are usually the most toxic, they're extremely explosive. And why is it? Because the passion is very strong. The person is very passionate and you're very passionate and their temper is very strong and you're very strong and everything is always so heightened. When there is an argument, it's like a, a bomb, right? It's a major explosion. But just like the, those fights, the making up is also that intense and that passionate, which which is why it puts it in a very toxic cycle. And a lot of the times when you're dealing with that type of relationship, it's really hard to walk away from that because there's always so so many highs and so many lows that it's just, it's very volatile um, and very difficult to release yourself from that. It's almost like you get a mental high from that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you, especially if they're just using and abusing you, my lovelies. All right, sweethearts, I hope that this gave you some type of insight. I hope it gave you some type of clarity. If you guys do like this video, definitely let me know, like, comment. And um, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of new videos coming through and spell videos as well. So you guys stay tuned to the, for that. <laughs> Until then, I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.